Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video we'll be taking a look at a teeny tiny speaker which promises to be full of sound and tons of bass. This is the Kit Sound Boom Cube Bluetooth speaker. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so today we are going to be taking a look at the Kitsound KS Boom Cube Bluetooth speaker. We are going to boom, boom. Yes, sorry, couldn't resist. So this is a uh, very small portable Bluetooth speaker built in lithium ion battery. It takes approximately two hours to charge and lasts for approximately six hours. Three watts of music output, which yeah, probably isn't the greatest, although it does say that it can shake the room and it's uh, particularly bassy. So very interested to see what this actually sounds like. This was actually sent to us from Ugly Bob. So thank you, Ugly Bob, once again. And this was actually on special offer. And in fact, today I've just noticed on Amazon.co.uk as of today's filming, which is on the 9th of December, 2021, this is actually retailing at the moment on special offer for £8.84. Such a weird price, but for £8.84, I think, even if it's got some quirks about it, I think we can put up with that. The normal retail price of this is somewhere in the region of about £25-30. Pounds. So obviously, do look out for those bargains. Whether or not it's going to be worth the uh, the full asking price, we don't know at the moment, because literally, we've not tested it. But let's get on and try and do that now. So packaging-wise, first of all, looking at the packaging, it pretty much goes over the same specs over and over. So it's the key things. So we've got Bass Boost. Uh, we've got Hashtag Go Wireless, which is their motto there. Obviously, hinting towards the Bluetooth connectivity. We've also got up to six hours playback time, as we said already, and we've got the choice of either wireless or wired. So you can use this with Bluetooth. It supports Bluetooth 4.1, but also it does support a 3.5 mil stereo jack. So you can plug in other devices. So maybe your desktop PC, a mobile phone, a slightly older one, if you've still got a 3.5 mil jack, some other audio source, maybe your laptop, that kind of thing. So reading off the features from the back of the box, uh, up to six hours playtime, as we said, passive bass radiator for bass boost, light and compact design, wired or wireless connections, and we've got the specifications on there, which I will put on the screen for you uh, large, so you can read those off yourself. I think the best thing to do is actually get this out and take a look at it. I have actually taken out of the box to have a, uh, a very brief look at it, and to also create some of the, uh, the B-roll for the video, but I've actually powered it up and seen what it's like yet so i've got no idea whatsoever so you're going to be finding out at the same time as me although potentially you may find that the the actual name of this video or the thumbnail may kind of give that away so the packaging itself actually quite a nice packaging nice retail packaging and the unit itself is actually quite quite iconic i think you've got this really nice speaker grill which is around the three sides there and obviously you've got the ks or kit sound logo on two sides on this side, we've also got the auxiliary plug, the 5 volt DC, so that is a micro USB type connection, and there is a multi-function button, or MFB. That is basically turn the device on or off. If you press it whilst playing, etc., it will pause, and if you double press it, it will skip to the next track if you're playing from a Bluetooth device. But other than that, all the other functionality, such as volume control and all those kinds of things, will be done on the device itself. On the bottom, you've got four rubberized feet. And actually, I would say those are probably silicon rather than rubber. They do feel more like silicon, and it's got some of the specifications on there as well. Weight-wise, actually, quite lightweight. I'll put the exact measurements on the screen now. I would say it's got to be getting on for around about 400 grams, possibly 450, somewhere around that sort of mark, but I'll put the exact figure on the screen for you right now. So also in the, uh, the packaging here, we've got the accessories pack, so let's see what we get in here. I'd imagine it's going to be the usual deal, so yeah, it looks like it's going to be an audio cable and a power cable. So the first one is a 3.5mm jack, male to male, and also there is the charging cable, so that's USB to micro USB, so for charging purposes, so it's nice that they're included. And also there is a small user manual or pamphlet telling you how things work, how to charge the speaker, how to connect it, blah blah blah, how to reset it, and all those kinds of good things. Although, to be honest with you, it's going to be very straightforward. Being it's only got one button, there's not a really a great deal that can go wrong. So I'm assuming press and hold the power button to turn it on. Ooh. Now that is actually quite a little bit of bass that's coming out of there already. So immediately that's gone into what appears to be Bluetooth pairing mode. So we've got a flashing Bluetooth LED on there. So let's actually connect up. This is the reason why I've got my laptop out. So I'm going to go over into 
Bluetooth devices and just see how easy this is to actually connect. So we're going to add a Bluetooth device and Bluetooth and Windows is now scanning and it's come up there as a KS Boom Cube. Now actually it's got the identification of it being a headset. So possibly there is actually a microphone in here. So you could actually use this for two way conversations if you're connected to your phone. Well, it doesn't make any mention of that actually on the packaging. I will double check that. And if that is the case, I'll put it in the uh, the text underneath here just to, so you know that's what it's working. Actually, yeah, KS Boom Cube, it says connected voice and music. So let's click done on there. And we're gonna head straight over now into the YouTube audio library and literally just gonna pick up some tunes and see what it sounds like. So just gonna do some random stuff. So that was a 100% volume from the laptop itself. We're now down to 44%. And that's at 31%. So at 31%, I would say that's kind of, you would be quite happy to listen to it like that. I don't think it's, it's not filling the room with sound for sure, but let's put it up a little bit later. That's at 60%. Quite a nice sound quality actually. Let's try uh, the next one. Now I'm going to say first of all, the bass, I don't, the bass sounds nice, but it's not a bass that you can feel. Now obviously that's not entirely surprising because obviously it's such a small speaker, but it doesn't give you that kind of presence and the top end seems a little bit tinny but it could be down to the music we're trying so let's try something a little bit different it's not too bad actually when the speaker is off axis so the speaker is in this top and you can definitely hear a difference when it's turned towards you so that's off axis now because i've got my lav mic actually quite clear. Let's try something else. So there is a little bit of bass coming through there. You can definitely feel it coming through the desk actually. Hopefully you can pick up the difference there between the directional sound. So again, that is currently at 60% volume. Let's put up on 100%. That's at 20. I think actually this is going to be perfect for those people that like to listen to things before they go to bed at night. If you're maybe listening to talk radio or something along those lines, because the volume towards the bottom end is actually quite low, but actually quite clear as well, that would be ideal for the spoken word. So for listening to things like that would be great. And for most people, I think, obviously, if you wanted to, you could take it into the shower with you. Uh, obviously not in the shower, but into the bathroom. don't think you'll have any problems there. Obviously, if it gets moisture on it, then because that is a metal surround rather than being plastic, obviously you don't want that getting too damp because it's going to rust and oxidize and all that kind of good stuff. You can get it in other colors as well. So if pink isn't your thing, there is, I believe there's a black, a blue and a gray, I believe it is. So a couple of color options there, all at different prices as well, weirdly on amazon.co.uk. But yeah, I think overall that's actually not a bad little unit. I would say it's more going to be suited towards indoor use rather than outdoor use. Although saying that in the summer, 
having it out next to you if you're on your lounge or that kind of thing, which we can only dream of at the moment uh, in this cold climate at the moment. Yeah, I think that's a pretty nice little speaker. For less than £10, yeah, come on, you can't go wrong. As a gift for someone at Christmas, little stocking filler, absolutely perfect. It's going to be one of those things which someone's going to get a lot of enjoyment out. Whether or not you're going to go for it as a dedicated Bluetooth speaker for kind of parties and stuff like that, I think definitely not. It isn't really aimed at that either. And it really isn't loud enough to kind of do that justice. But in a home, in an office, um, in your bedroom, out in the back garden, I think, yeah, it's going to be absolutely fine. So that is going to be the kit sound boom cube bluetooth speaker let me know what you think about this one in the comment section below but for now i've been mike this is mike's unboxing reviews and how to and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video thanks for watching